Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this um, dish towel or hand towel, whatever you want to use it for. Um, it runs about 16 by 10. So of course you can make it bigger or smaller just by adjusting your beginning chain. And it's got some fringes which is optional. You can leave them off or on if you want. It's completely up to you, but it's really easy. And for this project, I am using Peaches and Cream, which is a 100% medium weight 4-ply cotton. You want to make sure that you use cotton because acrylic's not going to absorb water like cotton. Cotton would be the only one that, the best for dish towels or hand towels or wash rags, that's going to be the best at absorbing water. Um, the color I'm using is called Sail Away Stripes, but you can use any color that you have. And there are 95 yards in this skein, and it took me a whole two skeins. That's like all I got left. So if you want to get three of these, just in case maybe you crochet um, a little different than me. But otherwise it took me, because I got three originally to use, but... I had this one left and that's all I had left so I'm going to be using a size I which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook okay I'm making this with the moss stitch so it's a real easy stitch it's one of my favorites and you can actually make yours you can adjust the size if you want it's completely up to you but the moss stitch is done in a multiple of two um, for mine, I started with a chain of 40. So now what you want to do is we're going to slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. And remember that we never count the one that's on our hook. So skip that one and slip stitch into the next. Like that. And now I'm going to half double crochet into the next stitch. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the next. And then I'm going to half double crochet into the next. Slip stitch into the next. And half double into the next. And that's the repeat for this row slip stitch into the next and half double into the next slip stitch into the next and half double into the next so I'm going to go ahead and repeat this pattern slip stitch half double slip stitch half double all the way to the end of my chain Okay, once you make it to the end, you should have ended in slip stitch there at the end. We're going to chain one and turn our work. Now we're going to start with a half double crochet and it's going to go right here in this very, very first stitch. So we're going to yarn over, go right into it, and half double crochet. And then the next stitch will be a slip stitch. So we're going to repeat the pattern that we just did. Half double into the next. And slip stitch into the next. Half double. <clears throat> then slip stitch. And I'm going to repeat the same pattern again until I get to the end of the row. Okay, when you make it to the end of this row, you should be ending in a half double crochet, which is going to go right here in this um, chain one space. Like that. So now what we're going to redo is just repeat those two rows back and forth. So this time I'm going to chain one again. 
and this time I'll start with the slip stitch in the very first stitch so right here is the slip and then the next stitch will be my half double and then the next stitch will be the slip and then the half double again and then a slip stitch and then a half double so it's real easy sometimes though I get kind of confused and mess up and I gotta pull it out but I just lose track I guess slip stitch and then half double so you're just going to repeat this until you get to the end of the row okay when you get to the end this time you're going to end in a slip stitch like that and then you're going to chain one turn your work and now you're going to start with a half double so when you end in a slip stitch you start your next row with a half double and when you end with a half double you start your next row with the slip stitch so it's really pretty easy so you just keep repeating those two rows and you can kind of see a little bit of the pattern that it starts to make but once it gets bigger you'll be able to see it more now you can repeat this for the length that you want it to be this is my width now remember if you want a lot wider of a dish towel you could just make your chain in a multiple too a lot longer than what I did but I'm gonna keep working and I'll let you know how many rows I do to make it my length here in just a second okay I went ahead and did a total of 60 rows all together count this is how I counted the rows like one and in between two three four five six seven eight so like that all the way up to 60 now you can definitely make it bigger if you want but if you want to make it bigger you are going to need another skein of that yarn because um, I'm putting this little fringes at the end and by the time I get done with that it's going to take every bit of the two skeins that I said so but feel free to make it big as big as you want you know you can make it a big bath towel if you wanted to make it a lot wider it's completely up to you but once you get to the end I just went ahead and clip my yarn and tie it off like that now I'm going to make these fringes and that's completely optional too you don't have to do that but I'm going to put it on both ends now these little fringes are really easy just kind of time consuming I cut a bunch of pieces of yarn they're about five inches long probably and what you want to do is if you have a side of your work that you like better they both actually look the same to me so doesn't really matter but put the side that you like better on the um, underneath so this would be the side I don't even know why I'm saying that they look the same so it doesn't really matter but this is what you do you just grab a stitch your next stitch here and go into it and then you want to pull your yarn through like that and then I drop my hook and put my finger in there now I'm going to get both my ends the same length like that and now I'm going to put both my fingers through there and grab them and pull them through tight like that okay and I'm going to do that all the way down you want to grab your next stitch right here I'll do it again pull it through I put my hook down and I'm going to even out my ends here like that and then put my thumb and finger through and pull them through the loop and pull it tight like that and then you would do that all the way down here I'll do it one more time just to show everybody go to the next stitch go into it grab your yarn and then even out your ends 
and then I always just pull them through and pull it tight like that and now you can get them as short or as long cut them as short or as long as you want uh, I cut mine these are probably about uh, about an inch maybe an inch and a quarter long and I'm just gonna straighten them out and then cut these about the same length it doesn't have to be perfect but about like that and now I'm gonna take it and pull them apart this is four ply yarn so there's going to be four little I don't know if they're called plies or not but that sounds kind of funny to call them plies four, four little strands of yarn per string and I'm just going to start at the bottom and unroll them like that that and then the next one this is probably the time consuming part but if you like it better, just leave them like that, you can. Or like I said, you don't even have to put them on. But I'm going to do this down both sides. Like that. And it just makes it look a little bit frillier. So I'm going to go down this side with the fringe and this side. Okay, once you get all these little frilly things undone, I always kind of just fold it in half get it nice and even and then just trim them up to where they're all equal or kind of equal get them all combed out here they don't have to be perfect or anything I just do like a little bit of a trim down them get any long ones that are maybe a little bit longer kind of straying like that give them a quick trim And then that is it. That's all there is to making this towel. I'll probably straighten that up a little bit more, but you kind of get the idea. That's it. That's all there is to it. So if you make this or anything else, I'd really like to see a picture of it. You can post a picture of it on uh, my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. And please don't forget to check out all my other tutorials. And until next time, have a good day.